As we grow older, we can expect to face various physical and mental challenges. Memory loss is among the most disturbing issues that many individuals experience. Most people experience some degree of forgetfulness as they age. But for others, memory loss can be so severe that it makes daily life difficult. Anxiety, frustration, and other health issues can all result from memory loss. You or a loved one can take preventative measures and treat memory loss more successfully by being aware of its origins and effects. This video aims to explore the various causes and effects of memory loss as we age. We will go through the many types of memory loss, such as dementia, normal aging, and moderate cognitive impairment. We'll also examine some of the illnesses, lifestyle choices, and medications that may contribute to memory loss. Finally, we discuss different methods and tools you may use to help yourself or a loved one. 1. Introduction to memory loss as a natural part of aging. As we age, it is natural for our memory to decline gradually. This is sometimes referred to as age-related memory loss, which varies in severity for many older persons. Normal age-related changes in the brain can cause us to experience minor forgetfulness, such as misplacing objects or forgetting names. Though many people worry that these changes could be signs of dementia or Alzheimer's disease, the truth is the majority of these cases are really caused by age-related memory loss. To ensure that patients who suffer these changes receive the necessary care and treatment, it is crucial to understand the distinctions between typical age-related memory loss and more severe cognitive decline. Two, an overview of the different types of memory and how they are affected. Our capacity to remember information and recall it when needed is a key component of our cognitive capacities. However, as we age, changes in the brain might affect how well we absorb and remember knowledge. We can develop strategies to lessen the negative impacts of age-related memory decline by having a better understanding of the different categories of memory and how they are affected by aging. There are three types of memory we will look at, sensory memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory. Sensory memory is the first stage of memory that temporarily stores sensory information such as visual or auditory inputs. Short-term memory holds about 20 seconds of information at a time. Long-term memory can store information for a more extended amount of time. Sensory and short-term memory tend to decline with age, long-term memory seems to remain basically unchanged. 3. Causes of memory loss Memory loss can be caused by a variety of things, including heredity, lifestyle choices, and medical disorders. Memory loss can be influenced by genetic factors, such as a family history of Alzheimer's disease. Memory loss can also be brought on by lifestyle choices like a poor diet and inactivity. Finally, Medical conditions such as stroke or traumatic brain injury can impact memory function. In order to choose the best course of treatment and stop further deterioration in cognitive function, it is crucial to determine the underlying cause of memory loss. Sometimes minor lifestyle adjustments or medication interventions can assist to boost memory and decrease memory decline. 4. Effects of memory loss on daily life The effects can be far-reaching and impact daily life significantly. One area where memory loss can be particularly challenging is in communication. Difficulty recalling names or vocabulary can make conversations more difficult and lead to frustration for both the individual experiencing memory loss and their loved ones.
Similarly, memory loss can impact independent living. The ability to perform daily tasks and remember important details, such as appointments or medications, can be compromised with memory loss. This may lead to a greater dependency on other people's assistance or a decline in general quality of life. It is crucial to be aware of the possible consequences of memory loss and to get help when you need it to handle these effects. 5. Strategies for Preventing or Delaying Memory Loss There are various strategies for preventing or delaying memory loss as we age, such as physical exercise and mental stimulation. Regular physical activity has been demonstrated in studies to help lower the risk of cognitive decline and dementia. Exercise improves blood flow to the brain, promotes the connections between brain cells that are essential for memory and learning, and encourages the creation of new brain cells. Solving puzzles and learning a new skill or language are mentally stimulating activities that can help maintain mental acuity and lower the risk of memory loss. To get the most out of exercise for our brains it's critical to mix physical and mental activities into our everyday routines. We can work to preserve our mental capabilities and maintain a good quality of life over time by integrating these tactics into our lifestyle. 6. Treatment Options for Memory Loss Thankfully, there are a variety of treatments available to lessen our worries, such as medication and cognitive therapy. Memory loss medication is commonly prescribed to help individuals maintain their cognitive function. Acetylcholine levels in the brain are raised by drugs like cholinesterase inhibitors, which can help with memory retention. Cognitive therapy on the other hand focuses on helping individuals learn new strategies to cope with memory loss. This type of therapy aims to improve cognitive function and enhance individuals' quality of life by teaching memory techniques and other cognitive skills. It is important that these treatment options should be discussed with a healthcare provider to determine their suitability for an individual's specific needs and medical history. 7. Coping Mechanisms for Individuals and Families Effective coping mechanisms are essential to manage and mitigate the impact of memory loss for both individuals and their families. In order to cope with memory loss, people must learn to adapt to their changing surroundings, which includes coming up with new methods for communicating with others and performing cognitive tasks. By demonstrating compassion and understanding, communicating clearly, offering support and encouragement, and obtaining expert assistance when necessary, families can also manage with memory loss. There are numerous ways of coping for people with memory loss. This includes such things as participating in social activities, getting regular exercise, eating healthily, practicing mindfulness, and reducing stress. Adopting these coping strategies will help people and families deal with the difficulties brought on by memory loss and enhance their general quality of life. While it can certainly be frustrating, there are ways to slow down the natural progression of memory loss and maintain cognitive function well into our golden years. We can help keep our minds sharp and our memories intact for as long as possible by maintaining physical activity, participating in cognitively challenging activities, and controlling any underlying health concerns.